What up, G Nation? Happy Monday. It is hot as balls outside, especially this past weekend. Heat advisory in effect, 97, 98. Feels like 103. Feels like I want to stay inside and just do nothing all day. Luckily, I had a few friends at pools, so I spent the time over there with my wife and daughter. Um, but now, you know, back to the work grind, and the work does not stop especially in Giants land. Uh, a couple of things I just wanted to discuss a few things uh, real quickly. Number one, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed yet, uh, certain players like Sterling Shepard, Kadarius Toney, um, Blake Martinez, guys that were uh, suffered injuries last year, um, still rehabbing those injuries. Uh, you'll you'll notice they were wearing red designated Giants t-shirts uh, in practice in OTA since OTAs have begun. Um, those mean that those players are not able to have any contact. That means just like when a quarterback wears a red jersey in practice, those guys are untouchable. Do not go near them. Do not blow in their ear. Do not smile at them. Stay the F away because we need those guys to be healthy they are rehabbing injuries um, other news Kadarius Tony it was reported that he underwent minor leg sur knee surgery or whatever foot knee whatever he went under minor knee surgery in the off season so that is why he is wearing one of those designated red t-shirts and if I could add those t-shirts are sexy I wish I could purchase them um, I believe they're only for Giants players and staff, just like that Brian Dable black Giants hoodie. I know a lot of you guys have said that they uh, want to know where you can buy them. I don't believe you can. I believe it's only for players and staff and personnel of the New York Giants. But I will give someone a uh, bet. If someone can find me a link to either of one of those red jersey t-shirts or a Brian Dable black Giants hoodie, all black hoodie, I will not only buy myself one, I will buy you one as well if you can find me it. And I'll make that a homework assignment for any of you listening. If you can find me a Giants red Kadarius Tony practice t-shirt like he had worn in the picture or a Brian Dable all black Giants hoodie, I will buy you as well as myself one. Um, in other news, Mike Kafka, new Giants offensive coordinator. He came from Andy Reid's coaching tree in Kansas City. Former Eagles triple backup wasn't very good in uh, in football at football at least. Um, I mean, I guess you're good enough to be a backup quarterback, but he wasn't very good as a quarterback in the NFL. Is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, he is part of the New York Giants, part of Big Blue. Once a giant, always a giant. You know the deal. He is our new offensive coordinator. Now, with that being said, our new head coach is Brian Dable. A, people like to call him as a offensive genius, offensive guru, if you may. Um, being a rookie head coach, he has a lot on his plate, as well as being with a rookie GM and a first-year offensive coordinator in Mike Kafka. Now, Mike Kafka has zero experience calling plays. Um, he was the quarterback coach, I believe, in Kansas City under Andy Reid. So he has zero to little experience calling any type of plays into the quarterback's headpiece. Um, according to reports of the New York Post and the Daily News, during OTAs and minicamp, Mike Kafka has been seen as the offensive play caller. Um, it is still too early to tell who will be the play caller once the season starts. Brian Dable has yet to uh, confirm if he will be calling the plays or not. Um, but I do find it quite interesting that in OTAs, Mike Kafka going with the new offensive scheme a new scheme he really doesn't have too familiar familiarity with um, as being the play caller in practice. That's a good sign that Brian Dable could possibly be leading towards making Kafka the play caller. Um, and it makes sense. You know, being an offensive coordinator, um, it doesn't really make too much sense having an offensive coordinator when the head coach is calling the offensive plays. Usually in most cases, other than like an Andy Reid type who would pass along to Eric Bieniemy. Um, usually offensive head coaches like to call their own plays. I know dumbass Nick Sirianni in Philly calls his own plays um, and so forth. I know Sean McVay used to have an offensive coordinator. 
He left to go to the Minnesota Vikings. Will he regain offensive coordinator play calling? Who knows? Um, but I'm uh, I'm excited. I think Mike Kafka deserves the opportunity. He deserves the experience of calling plays. And uh, hopefully Brian Dable gives him that uh, responsibility. I think it's a lot easier for a head coach, especially in a rookie first-year position, um, as Brian Dable is in. I think it will be a lot easier on him giving up, delegating the – play calling to one of his assistants being Mike Kafka. That way he can focus a little bit more on, you know, the defense, special teams, and the offense as a whole, as a collective group. Um, I feel like that would do the Giants good when the head coach is aware of what's going on and just not just the offensive side of the ball, but being on the special teams and defensive side of the ball as well. Um, I, I guess that they'll probably make the announcement of who will be the play caller once training camp nears to be near the end. Uh, maybe in the preseason we'll get a little bit of a glimpse on who's going to be the play caller. Um, but I think, you know, Mike Kafka, he's building a good budding relationship with Daniel Jones. He's uh, expressed how tremendous of an athlete Daniel Jones is. He's very knowledgeable of, of the NFL, very knowledgeable of offensive schemes. Um, he's apparently picking up this new offense uh, very quickly. Not surprised. He is from Duke. He's very smart. Um, he's applauding Daniel Jones's work ethic, his preparation, you know, first guy in, last guy out mentality. Um, I mean, even Joe Shane said sometimes he'll come into the building around 4.45, 5 a.m., and Daniel Jones is already the first person in the building. Um, and, you know, Daniel Jones, he's playing on a short lease. They didn't pick up his option, so he's, he's all for it. He's 100% all in. Let's go. Move up. He's 100% all in. Um, I wish these New Jersey drivers were all in because they don't know how to merge. Um, but other than that, guys, that's really all I have to say. Hope everyone stays cool in the hot summer sun because um, it's a scorcher out there. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm serious about this. If you guys can find me that black hoodie or the red Giants practice t-shirts that Kadarius Tony and Shepard Martinez are wearing, I will buy you yourself one as well as mine. Um, other news, guys, I will continue to update when new, more news breaks. Um, until then, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, go Rangers. They get a nice game three uh, win. So that series is 2-1 Carolina with another home game coming tomorrow at MSG. Um, anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. As always, let's go G-Men.